We are at Abbott Northwestern Hospital in Minneapolis, and my name is Daniel Melby. I'm uh, the director of the Electrophysiology Lab, and uh, I am a complex ablationist. An ablation procedure is a procedure using small catheters uh, uh, traveled through the veins and arteries to the heart uh, to identify sources of rapid heart rhythm. Uh, the ablation is a uh, heating or a cautery type energy that then eliminates that abnormal cardiac tissue, uh, creating the fast heartbeat. Ablations begin with recording of the heart's electrical activity. Noise levels uh, have been really the bane of the electrophysiologist uh, since the beginning, and uh, noise uh, can oftentimes range uh, to the level where it's not possible uh, to detect the very low electrical amplitude uh, signals that the heart is producing. There are many procedures which are highly dependent on seeing the very low amplitude signal that makes the difference between successful procedure and a failure. I had done a lot of research as to what uh, could be the best uh, noise reduction, and I looked for products that had some evidence and some scientific basis as to how they worked. And Shunyata was uh, the only company that I could identify that could explain how it's working why it works and demonstrate it clearly uh, how it's affecting the AC power line signal. Well, the first step uh, in evaluating was to try uh, some simple plug-in units uh, that were uh, placed in the outlets uh, where the critical equipment was also plugged into. And that showed, uh, sure enough, uh, a mild but measurable reduction in noise. Uh, the next step was uh, I contacted Shunyata and so that transitioned into trying the more robust units that have a more substantive reduction in the AC power line noise. Uh, I would measure the noise prior to applying the filtering. The average was hovering about 0 0.05 millivolts on average. After the uh, application of the filtering technology um, through Shinyata, uh, the noise level that I could measure was suddenly almost unmeasurable. It was uh, below the ability of the system to measure at 0 0.01 millivolts. It certainly revealed all kinds of electrical signals that I didn't even, I wasn't able to see were even there before. We'll look back and say, why didn't we have this before? And we're so happy we've got it now. <laughs>